Alright guys, King David K, King K, David K, Multilevel 94 is back with another episode of the Days Coalition, the final cut, full playthrough. So, without further ado, let me change the camera real quick and let's drop some investigation action. Yeah, let's go. Now we are in the drug business. Whoa. And we're gonna make money. It's not the best thing for a cop, but you know these days. You know me, and uh, yeah, I'm not taking drugs or alcohol, I'm getting clean, I'm just getting some money, what's wrong with that? You need money to live, and I didn't have any, now I will have something, and uh, we started pretty good already, look at this, 73.62 real, finally we can do something with our money, that's not bad, so now let me talk again with this girl. Hello again. Uh, I need the empathy, and yeah, I hope to, let me see, 54 skill points, hmm, your associates tried to use me to set up a drug lab, I'm guessing you knew of this plan. I did, and I'm sorry, hmm. what is worth. Which she doesn't appear much. surprised, for what is worth, which isn't much. Okay. This is why I didn't go into the tent, typical delinquency. <laughs> he don't know that I'm partner now. <laughs> okay. You don't get to choose your posse, they choose you. Mine are idiots, but they're mine. I tried to talk Andre out of it. I even tried not to lie to you. Indeed. She merely tried to omit the truth instead. Instead you opted to omit the truth. It's the same thing. I know. But I knew you see through their plan too. I'm not an idiot. I should have been able to control them. And I will in the future. I promise. Okay. May I ask? What did you tell Whoa. them? Whoa, drama. Try to lie about your action in front of the lieutenant. Absolutely. <laughs> your words yes. Sincere. I don't want Kim to know, not now. <laughs> so, I'm not lying to Kim, by the way. I'm just lying to the girl. Uh, I'm not lying directly to Kim. I don't want to do that. Kim is my partner, but at least I won't let him know now so i called it crime prevention you will have to go at it straight if you have it in you as good a call as any <laughs> better not to have made one at all though you <laughs> lose your mind trying to mediate everything these delinquents come up with <laughs> thank you i'll get them under wraps i promise okay but i want that so how many i have 54 skill point <laughs> So now what actually? I'm gonna go to the church, right? And let's try to the church. Let's see what we come up with. Then we're gonna go to sleep af af after. That's the last thing that we do. Then sleep. Because you know, that's it. For sure. But yeah, for now, I can say it's pretty, pretty good what we've done, right? We did a pretty good job. Oh, what's this? Didn't I see this before? Or is this new? Give me that! Wow. Are the money random in the world? I don't think so. I simply didn't see that, right? Now well, let me talk to the lady again. And, and this time I want to have the church for the guys. Because there's a business to be done. And there's me in that business too. So yeah. That's something that for sure we're gonna do. Is she in here? Oh yeah, finally. That's good. Yes, what is it? So, oh. How do you feel about manufacturing drug large quantities of drugs? I see you talk to them. Good. Drugs are illegal, and I'm not leaving this church, especially because of some corrupt drug lab idea you cooked up in that tent. What? I did. Now this place is also going to be a drug lab. Always something fascinating happening in Tams. Wait. No, no, no. You can't say things like that when the lieutenant is present. I'm just a grungy inactive yacht culture. There's nothing wrong with that. Mind the altering substances are available part of the... Say nothing. Wow, guys. I was just messing with you. Wave your hands around your head. Just messing with us. Right. Well, just to be completely clear. 
I am here to conduct a citizen's investigation into a radio anomaly, and I want nothing to do with the local vices of Martinez. Got it? Thanks. What if you didn't make uh, have to leave? I talked to Andre. He wants to make it work. I don't want to make anything work. Hold on. You don't want to make anything work? Yes, anything. I don't Ooh. want to make anything work. Convince her to cooperate with ravers. Easy. Yes! When a research is done, she can move out. Listen about your research. You mentioned earlier that it's not going very well. Maybe can I help with something? What? No. I don't really need any help with the project. But if I could help you finish the project, then you won't have to live in a church next to the boom boom anymore. Just think about it. She thinks about it. A glassy look in her eyes. A gust of wind brings more snow in from the broken gallery. It touches her hair. Alright. Hmm. Bring me the game's offside copy from my old workspace, if you really want to help. Oh. It's stored on a filament memory, and I'm unable to go and fetch it myself. Is this the filament you're looking for? Yes, I have it in my inventory! Fucking... Yeah, I know that I need to take that back, and I did the fucking wrong good thing. Whoa, this is fantastic. No, that's the production schedule you stole and accessed without authorization. Oh. I don't need it. In his defense, it was simply laying in the desk drawer of an abandoned cubicle. Hmm. Okay, but still. So, what is offsite copy and who do you need? Why do you need it? It's a backup of my former employer's project, the radio game we were working on. It's stored on a filament memory, just like the one inside this radio computer. She pointed the glowing cube inside the machine. She's making it extra simple for you. Hmm. The backup itself is destroyed now. But I'm hoping to use what's left of it to pinpoint the exact location of the anomaly. You just have to go to my old workspace and get the filament. Hold on. If it's called an off-site copy, then why is it still on-site? Alright, so if it's called an off-site copy, then why is it still on-site? Oh god, not this again. <laughs> it is not on-site. It is in the basement. Perfectly safe and not connected to the front at all. Basement? Sounds like it's technically still <coughs> on site. So. And no, taking it outside the building wouldn't have protected it from the data loss. There's nothing wrong with keeping the backup in the basement. What happened was a freak accident that has nothing to do with how the backup was stored. Mm. We clear? By your whole workspace, do you mean the studio fortress accident in the doomed commercial area? Yeah, that's the one. You can get in through the bookshop. You just have to do some explaining to the bookstore lady. So, wait, bookstore lady? You mean Pleasance? That's her name, I believe. Actually, I've already been inside the doomed commercial area. Yeah. Good. Then you might know the giant ice bear fridge in the building cellar. The filament is inside the fridge. Just go and get it. And where exactly is off the side copy? In the giant ice bear fridge. I just told you. It has red glowing eyes. It's impossible to miss. You just need to get the offside copy from the ice bear. Okay. But you've been to the fridge and it wasn't there. Yeah. There was a note saying. I find a note from the ice from the ice bear fridge. It says the off copy had to be moved to a safer place. Wait. A note from whom? Did it specify where they took the filament memory? It said the offside copy had been taken to a nearby ice cream maker. The note was signed by someone named Sulislav. Jarisa. Of course. Oh. Our project lead, Sulislav Jarisa. Okay. God, he was always so hell bent on keeping the copy somewhere safe. That feature creep and the valley of the heads. Hmm. Like it would have made a difference. The offside copy was perfectly safe when the data loss happened. That data loss was anomalous. She crosses around definitely. And the heads. I won't even get into the heads. Millions of them. Hmm. Go find that copy from that ice cream maker, will you? Thanks. Yeah, but the copy from that is like inside the other refrigerator that I can open. Valley of a thousand heads. You like the sound of that. So I found the ice cream maker, but I couldn't get it open. It's completely frozen. This is getting ridiculous. Can't you just 
defrosted? How? I, I don't know. I don't know about the ice cream maker. Just figure something out. Why can't you go and get a filament yourself? The bookstore lady hates me. Says I'm part of the curse. Whatever that means. Wait, are you part of the curse? Of course not. Anyway, I don't have my keys anymore and she won't let me in. Why does she think you're part of the because curse? Because she's from Martinez. And people from Martinez have never ever seen a radio computer. Hmm. She thinks it emits elemental evil. Oh, that's a bit based. Don't you think? No. She literally started praying for the higher powers when she first saw my name. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Higher powers. The lieutenant coughs like he's amused. Once I came in one morning, only to find that my terminal was full of those strange trinkets and amulets. Wards. It looked like some seminine magic. Alright, I go f for the offside copy. <laughs> She thinks for a moment, then reaches behind the radio computer and lands you, you what looks like an oversized pry bar. And here's my oh! You might need it to hack you. Yeah! It opens everything. Finally! If you get me the offside copy, then you can keep the Kvalsund. Absolutely! The legendary Kvalsund multi-tool. Yes! This is pry bar yes! version 2.0 for professionals. Absolutely. About the offside copy you asked me to bring after. Right. I let you work in peace now, or yep. right? Yeah. Thanks. Fair fucking tastic. I'm happy again with this. Caval soon. Whoa. This is an advanced pry bar. A pry bar plus two. If you will built by Kvalsun in Vaza. The number of gadgets hidden within the frame of the yellow and gray multicolor tool will stagger any technician so i have this now and uh, she said that i can take this with me if i bring her the chip the, the memory fi filament but if i don't go there i will keep this with me still so yeah at least i have now the super kaval sander kr plus two multi-tool Fantastic. I keep this to open lock containers in the world. Lock container. Can I open the container now? Where the fat guy is? Near. Where the fat guy is? One of the brother of the union. Whoa. That's wow. This thing. You know, this was a side quest. Nothing important for the investigations, right? It opens the mind. Oh my god, maybe the container is empty. Maybe there's nothing inside, okay? Well, at least it's something. Wow. So help Raver start a nightclub? That's for sure. Because I get 50%. And I will help Sona with her project too. Since I uh, will get, uh, you know, her to go away. And, and, yes, and yes, that's fan fucking tastic. So, let's go, let's go. Before the day ends, I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna sleep for the first time here. It's gonna be interesting. Please, can you go out? Thank you. So, let's go take the chip. Now I have the super pry bar. That's gonna be fucking good. I'm fucking happy. By the way, before we go, let me check out something else. Still raining. Come on, it's raining like forever in this fucking place. It never stops. Yeah, it stops sometimes, just a little. Rain and rain and rain and rain and rain and rain and come on and rain. Hello again. So what do I need? Empathy. Okay. As soon as I reach that, we're gonna put more empathy to me. Nothing now. Stay there. Don't worry. What was that sound? That was a strange sound. Like some... Uh... Well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go back. That's what we need to do now. 
what what was that it was something else oh this thing maybe yeah I have some money now pretty good what is this what's about that this door is closed for today time to put the kids to sleep well yeah let me say something let me try if I use this by the way I have 14 bottles not bad I can open that I don't know if it's that or in general doors because I feel like this is perfect for doors even but I don't know so yeah what's that map well I can do wow pretty a lot of things now and yes we're gonna do that what she's still outside in the cold with when it's raining go inside come on girl so let's go yes let's go happy go I saved myself by the way like this time because you know I was spoiling myself that I make the drug thing we came but yeah no spoilers for you Kim I'm sorry this time but that's my business so yeah look at me and Kim by the way you see Kim when runs it's strange it's like I don't know maybe frame rate something that oh what's that is this something new plastic rabbit mechatronics stamped with the human humanitarian aid mechatronics Human aid tuna fish, not for sale. What is this? This is food gift from the people of Messina. What the fuck is that? This is speakers from the people of Samhara. What is this? Everything still cool here, officer. The food package you're selling have humanitarian aid written on them. How come? You mean these delicious pre-packaged shelf-stable meal kits? Really yes. easy to cook? No hassle, really cheap too. Buy some, try them out. No hassle. There's a little of a hassle here, mm. it appears. A moral hassle. Doesn't that be the idea of humanitarian aid? It's supposed to be free. That's what makes it humanitarian. It is practically free. Mm, You're practically. For five cents a piece. Rock that tuna. Why not some macaroni too? Oh, macaroni? <laughs> I think one said not for resale on the packaging. No problem here, officer. I get all this from one of my suppliers. An extremely reputable guy. <laughs> Wait. Humanex. Humanitarian aid. Does your supply drive that Humanox lorry over there? Pointed lorry with the Humanox sign on it. What? The street vendor looks over half his left shoulder and stares at the lorry. I thought he'd never seen a lorry in his entire life. A convincing performance. Bravo. Bravo, yeah. No coffee, sir. I'm just a retailer. You'd have to talk to my supplier if you got questions about the supply chain. That's how the game works. Okay. Interesting. Super interesting. Can I do this? I can try. Whoa. Persuade him to give you some money. Absolutely. Let's try this again. I forgot about this. No need to fuck this one up. Just tell him what you want. I want money. I need them. So no need to dress this one up. Let's just tell him what you want. Oh, no. Nah. Okay. But Let's I... not say this. Are you tr sorry, detective? Well, we're gonna. It's gonna be for next time. But yeah, there's something that I can. Nah. I don't give a damn, right? What is this? Let's go. I've tried. I've tried. Let's go where I want to go. Hmm. For me, this is the drug dealer for some reason. I, I, I believe that. Even if it's not true, but well, we're gonna find that. Let's go here, since I can. Thank God that at the beginning I convinced the play sense, okay, to let me get inside. That was good. 
and cool by the way let me see it's still recording just uh, you know just in case uh huh hell yeah it's doing pretty well so perfect execution now let me equip that absolutely where is this uh where is this by the way let me see something authority how i am in authority uh, oh but so yeah This is the place, right? This orange machine is dead still. It has a hand. Let's try 58%. An electric freezer. The ice around it slowly melted. Crack open the lid. Ice grows yes! towels under the yes! screen of your giant Gavalzon multi-tool until the lid cracks open. Fantastic. Look at this. This is fucking. This is not this is a super pry bar. This is like a you know what it seems, you know Guilty Gear, the fighting game series, if you know that, you know so bad guy, the main character of the series, we can say that. This is like the so bad guy gun, weapon, weapon gun, this is fantastic. Kvalsund, Kvalsund is like the weapon of so bad guy in Guilty Gear, whoa. Oh. Darkness lies inside, but you can faintly make out an object, intricate and foreign, left there for a sub-zero beauty sleep, a filament memory with the words off-site copy. Written you know what? On its side. I will not remove this from my hands. Fuck that. Fuck the bottles. Now I have the money. Why need to collect the bottles for? So yeah, let's go. Disappointment washes over you. As you stare into the almost empty ice cream maker. Wait, no ice cream? A scoop of ice cream would have been nice, yes. <laughs> Lieutenant agrees. Someone stole its ground rules. The room feels very cold. Take out the film and memory. Lift the cube from its Give me that. Bedding. Careful not to damage it. Absolutely. We should take it back to Miss Lucan and Kilda as soon as possible. <laughs> Lucan and sure Kilda. How well unused filaments tolerate room temperatures. Yes, but aren't you curious to know what's on the precious filament? There's a radio computer upstairs. Hey, maybe she will tell me. I don't want to fuck that up. Fuck curiosity. No, no, I don't want to lose the money. Let's bring this to the lady. You know? Let's not do wrong things. Let's do things in the right way. Okay? Let's bring the filament to her. No problem. No snitching around. No seeing through. Take your filament. Go away. Let the guys go in. And let the guys give me money. 50%. I wanted to go for 55. And I guess I could have reached it maybe. But, yeah, 50% is enough. By the way, I'm a fair cop, okay? So, let's go with my super... Whoa, thing is cool. And you know what? Let's change ends. Let me see, can I do like simple like this? Yeah. As I want, like this. In the right hand, so bad guy weapon. Now, let's do this. Let's end this. And then we're gonna go to sleep. And tomorrow is another day. We're gonna try call again for the fucking armor of the fucking guy. Because that's a fucking problem, if you ask me. Let's go. So, wait, wait, wait. Are we going to the right way? Yes, I think we are. Let's go. Inside here? Now I don't remember, but I guess yes, right? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Birds in the br bridge tree. Barely audible calls come from above. Now, I'm gonna pay attention with this prior bar. This super prior bar. I don't want to broke that, but I guess I will not broke that, right? I guess this prior bar will not broke itself. It's like the strongest pry bar ever the one that's unbreakable maybe i don't know oh every time i see my car it's like come on my fucking car but yeah that's it 
She's still wow. No, nobody's sleeping here. Yeah, maybe later. I don't know. Kids are sleeping for sure, and that's good. The other people, no, not for now. But yeah, let's go and let's see. This is the right way. This is the right way. This is the right way. Yeah. Oh, come on. By the way, I did the right choice, if you ask me, because I don't know the password for the other computer. Maybe it's the same, life and death. I guess after life, death, something like that. I don't remember exactly now. But you know what? Maybe it's better like this. Now, is she here? All right. Yes, what is it? About the offside cop you asked me yes? to bring. I brought the filament. Thanks. Looks like it's the one. What's going to happen now? Now I'm going to print it out to see what's left of it. She's already inserted the film into the radio computer's core, ready to close the door. What are you even hoping to find? I have a theory. Lindell was able to divine the location of the anomaly from this broken copy. I want to repeat their calculation, only this time with better equipment. Okay. Watch. What an intricate display of failure. Hmm. The paper starts filling out with ink, soaking it in a gleaming blackness. Not a single line of data stands out. This is wrong. Machines shouldn't behave like that. Play it cool. Now what? Something's very wrong with that film in memory. Step back. Please just stop. Stop playing the, with this thing. Play it cool. Now what? Sona doesn't reply. Her hands running over the printout. She's looking for something. For her morning star. Eyes scouring the millimeters. Okay. Here. I found it. Where? Hold on. She's behind the keyboard now, typing in some numbers that only she understands. The terminal beeps and lights inside starts pulsing like a glowing heart. Can I do anything? Shh. Just give me a second. I'm almost She clocks up her typing speed. Whoa. I've never witnessed a programmer work before. Okay. Done. I've got it. I found the location of the anomaly. Yes! Money, finally! Finally! Guys are gonna come here and make money, even for me. So, you did it? You found the coordinates? I found the coordinates! <laughs> <laughs> she lets out a celebratory laugh. Great job. Oh my god, congratulations. Thank you. Hmm. So, where is it? Where is your two millimeter hole in the world? There, in the swallow. What? She points at the other hand of the church, where a group of water balls form a ritualistic arch. Think you can help me again? She tilts her head, her eyes sparkling. Sure. I need you to go move those water balls for me. I mm. need to double check my calculations. Okay. What an interesting proposition. <laughs> Truly a task for the intellectuals, solving the puzzle of water bowls. Right, I go figure it out. I'm good at intellectual puzzles. Figure it out? <laughs> no, I don't need you to figure anything out. I've got a computer for that. Okay. Just walk over to the circle and follow my instructions. Move the third bowl two centimeters to the left and the fourth bowl five centimeters to the right. This should do the trick. What? Okay. She only wants you to follow instructions. Nothing intellectually stimulating in this task. A child could do it. All yes, right. but you like moving things around. Moving things around is calming. What you don't trust? What, you don't trust my intellectual capabilities to solve this problem on my own? Uh, come on. It's not about your brain. Even I couldn't figure it out on my own. All Can right. you please just go and move the water bowls for me? Thanks. Okay. All right, so let's go, right? Oh, these things, so I don't fucking remember, there are a lot. <laughs> what? It's awfully silent again, as if someone turned off the entire world outside okay. those walls. Water inside the bowls stands still. Measurements have been marked down around the bowls. Each chalk-drawn line representing a centimeter on the floor. 
All right. Oh boy, this is Whoa. going to be good. So move the third ball from the left two centimeters away. It moves like a ghost without creating a single trace of sound. This task is an insult to your mental skills. What the fuck? First they gave me morale, then they leave. Me. Move the fourth ball from 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 the left five centimeters to right. Some water spills out of the bowl, wetting the floor. The lead programmer sends you an encouraging thumbs up from across the hall. Okay. Time to run back, or maybe walk. This is a sacred place, after all. Leave. All right. So now what? I did it, right? Let's see what happens now. Yes, what is it? I removed the balls. It was made made unbingly easy. What's next? Craig, everything should be aligned now. He stops biting into a clubbed chapped lip. What's wrong? Yeah. Uh, nothing. Now the only thing left to do is to unmute the headphones. Okay. If we got the location right, we should then be able to hear whatever sound this anomaly makes. Hmm. Wait, why did you have uh, your headphones on mute in the first place? Honestly? Honestly, I'm a little scared. Isn't it going to be just silence and nothing else? I don't know. That's what I'm scared of. I don't know. Hmm. It could be anything. Alright. I mean, what sound does the nothing make? How can you even listen to something that doesn't exist? She turns to face you, the mainframe throwing shadows on her chin. What if silence is only what surrounds it, but the swallow itself is... She grows silent, her face very pale in the cold light of electricity. What? I don't know. I'm just scared. <laughs> Maybe it's going to be something terrifying. M maybe it's going to tear the world apart. I don't think so. Like that evil ink that filled the printout, erasing coherence and meaning. You're overthinking maybe. this, yeah. Maybe I'm just tired. Let's think about this logically. Why okay. would nothing be terrifying if it's, well, nothing? Why assume that something that has no presence, existence or qualities has to be terrifying? Because it reminds us of death. And we humans tend to think that death is pretty scary. Death is scary. You can't just start over again. Or can you? It's scary, but we just have to face it. Yeah. You're right. Let's do it. <laughs> she puts on her oversized headphones, ready to press unmute on the keyboard. The lieutenant takes a step back. Oh, he's scared, right? And then, nothing. Nothing happens. As Sona, Logan and Kilda presses unmute. On her keyboard, nothing but silence. You could hear some small animal cross the floor in the chancel. It's that quiet in the sanctuary. Can you hear anything? She doesn't answer. Her eyes closed and brows knitted together in a state of deep focus. One hand cupping the headphone. Well, damn it! She lets out a lo loud sigh before tearing off. Her headphones. She's avoiding your gaze. Come on, did you hear, hear anything? No, of course not. Nothing happened. Let's move on. What do you mean nothing happened? Did you find the, sal the, the swallow? No. <laughs> she rests her face on her hands, massaging her forehead. No. My hypothesis was wrong. According to this, I should have heard something if I got the coordinates right. Like I said, silence is only what surrounds it. Okay. But this... This is just another failure. Silence sounds like silence. That's all it is. Okay. You can try on the headphones. See if you can hear anything. But don't get your hopes up. Hmm. This can't be it. You should have a listen. Whoa. Perception low. Let me try. Absolutely. So, perception. Let me see. Do I have something? Perception is five. That's pretty high, come on. Do I have something that gives me that? Or removes me that? Oh, the keys, huh? I have some keys, yeah. So, nothing about perception here, right? But in the clothes, in general, 
let me see. So our fair minus one perception. Hell no. And uh, plus one perception. Give me that. Something else? Well, better than nothing if you ask me. Yes, what is it? Let's try 42%. Only hair ah! own breathing. Heavy and hoarse from all the nights spent drinking. It's the breath of an old man. But there's something else. There has to be. Something big. Something unexpected. When was the last time this world had anything new to say? Well, did you hear anything? No, nothing. Just silence. I'm not sure. There seems to be something there, but I couldn't really make it out. Yeah. No, I don't think there's anything there. The okay. lieutenant looks down at the floor, as if to say, you're wasting time here. So I can do it again. So, alright. If I can do it again, no problem. But yeah, I've tried at least. I could have, but I didn't, so... Alright. So, I don't know this sound. What the hell is that? Yeah. Now what? Now nothing. Right? Hmm. Yeah, right. So... Let's go. Let's get out of here. And let's go to, to the guys, right? Let's talk to them. I guess now I can... You know, let's do that, and then we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna sleep, and tomorrow we're gonna try to, you know, we're gonna see if the motor carriage with the radio, you know, in the motor carriage, we can contact, and we can see if the armor, if we have some information on the armor. Cause that's pretty important, if you ask me. So let's go here, and let's talk to them again. I hate a little bit talk to them. They are so stupid sometimes. Come on. I hate talk with stupid people in this game. Huh? No you. I see you here. No you. Hi again. So uh how are things going? So Yes? I'm What's making thing? progress in the church, but it's slow going. There's a hitch. In Sonia's research, okay. What kind of a hitch? She's trying to catch anomaly using a special microphone setup, but she can hear the audio coming through the headphones. An audio shortfall, you say? Guess what? We got speakers with massive low end. There's a good chance it could do it. They were one speaker, one, uno, un. Uh, one, uno, yeah. Uno speaker, non due. Non tre, non quattro, non cinque, uno. Only one, not five, not two, not three, not one. So I think we have found a solution. I'm not really sure about its lack of bass. <laughs> yeah, but I'll see if Sonia thinks. We've got some serious range on this baby. It will blast those shoes off, believe me. <laughs> As if for now. So let me see if she thinks it's good. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it will work. I don't know. So yeah, we still have things to do and the day is coming to an end, so I'm gonna try to be faster I guess, right? Let's go inside the church again. Skill points can also buy new thought cabinet slots or, or forget old thoughts. <laughs> yeah. So. Let's see. Yes, what is it? Put on the app. Can I try this again? Let's try this again. Everything yes! You are yes! draped in silence like a drowning man I don't staring know why. into his puny little headspace. I didn't put some points in perception. 
So what, what is that? Why I could have tried this again? For what reason? But I succeeded, so let's go! Yeah, it happened! And That's the important thing. Changes. What does it mean? It feels like flying on an aerostatic, or when your ears pop, or like a subtle difference in the atmosphere, a weather change hanging in the air. Hmm. What if the sound you're looking for is too low for you to hear it? Sooner, take off the headphones. What if we just need a better sound system? A better sound system? All right, but where would we get one? Hmm. Suddenly, a rhythmic beat permeates the wall, yeah. causing a small patch of decorative stucco to crumble onto the wooden floor. That's really strange. You have people around you with a, a heavy bass sound system. You hear that all day. You hate that all day. You don't come in mind that Oh, maybe I can use that speak. You can. I can use the speaker. You should really allocate some renovation funds for this place. <laughs> We're almost looted and inspecting damage done to the arabesques. No, what they really should do is shut down the disco men for disturbing neighborhood peace. Yes, but they could help with the speakers. You mean the speed freaks? Huh. She closed her eyes as more dance music invades their holy, the holy silence of the sanctuary. Of course. The Speed Freaks, they have a fantastic sound system. And you think they would help me? They would, if you wouldn't mind them moving in with you. I guess I could live through a week or two of peaceful coexistence. Great, I'll go talk to sure. them. Fantastic! You know Thanks, officer. Thanks to you, you're gonna make me do money if they aren't stupid enough. To take all the drug for themselves and no money, I can see. I hate drugs. I fucking hate drugs. But you know, I will not take them. I'm gonna just earn some money from it. Make money is not so bad, if you ask me. Report back to Andre that that they can move in. Now they gonna do some other problem too, right? I don't know, I feel like Something else gonna pop in like, oh, but we can move the speakers because it's too, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go. She's always outside, by the way. Wind, uh, cold in the night. Come on. Now let me think about it. Hi again. So, uh, uh yes? What's Good news. Doing? I managed to convince Suna, she's okay with you guys moving in, but one condition, she needs your speaker for her project. We are grateful, Cotman. You're a true ally and the augury of a new era of anodic dance music. Okay. The speed freak smiles, happier than he's ever been before. You're going to have a sh uh, to share space for a couple of weeks until she gets research finished. That's fine. We can manage. He grins excited. And you haven't changed your mind about our little side business, have you? Actually, I've been thinking. I've been thinking. No, you don't get to squeeze out every drop of us and then change your mind. We're setting up the shop. It's too late to turn around now. Yeah! All okay. right. It's going to take us a bit to move our stuff inside. A couple of hours, maybe. Come check back later. Let's get moving. Okay. I didn't want to remove the thing. There's only one thing that I wanted to do. One simple thing. I wanted to say, yeah, I still with it with my mind on it. But So what now exactly? Oh, I'm here. There's no more. Oh, the tent is gone. What is this? Paper or something? Oh, no. The girl is gone, too. I wanted to... Come on! Okay, I, I guess now they removed that now. So, let's see what's changed. I'm not, I'm not angry about my pry bar no more. Actually... Short of money, equip a plastic bag, collect bottles, and sell them to freight. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't need to do that anymore. At least not now. 
Oh, what's that? Oh my god. So now what? Maybe now I can talk to Eggman? And the girl is still the same. She's whistling a melody. Her trusty contact mic attached to a wooden pipe. Well, at least now at she's not footsteps. She on the cold outside. And turns to you. Hey there. I've she gives you his mind. Some new audio from all these beams and rafters. The sounds traveling through the wood are pretty cool. Creaks and stuff. Like you're underwater, you know? But like underwater inside a tree. And yes. Okay. I'm being more like contact Michael, right? Don't I mean, bring it up. I was I wasn't going to. No, no. I actually wanted to thank you for getting me and my friends in here. And we even found some new associates, such as they are. Uh, how is everyone doing? Good, okay. doing? Noid is getting a read on the place. I think he finds the carpentry very impressive. Andre's been setting up the compressor and dancing. Egghead's been keeping the party up. He's got the stage under control. Sauna, the programmer, she's doing whatever she does. Behind that radio computer of hers. Okay, now can you tell me about your associates? And the crab man hasn't shown himself, thank God. Now, can you tell me about your associates? Sure. You helped Whoa. us out. Experience. I can repay the favor. Good. What do you want to know? Tell me about Suna. Ah, oh, she's a bit odd, I have to say. Doesn't talk much. I'm not really sure how to vibe with her, you know? Seems like she's not in a very good mood most of the time. But earlier today, she told me about Welkins. And she seemed oddly happy, like she had some hmm. idea with those little creatures. Hmm. Some artistic idea. I didn't really listen, I was busy with my mic. What about Tiago? Oh, the crab man. Still gives me the creeps the way he moves. But he doesn't actually come down that much, just climbs around the rafters. Okay. I just tried to stay away from the crab man. But he talks to Noid. They seem to have some thing going on. Oh, he talks to Noid? What for? Beats me. Noid said they get along somehow. They're both crazy enough, I guess. Hmm. So, uh, what does he do up there? Who knows? He doesn't really answer our questions, see? Not that it's easy to ask them. What are we supposed to do? Yell up at the tower? Thanks about the others. Who do you want to know about? Tell me about Andre. Andre? He's a hmm. cool guy. Doesn't really come off as one, but he is. To me, at least. He takes care of shit. Sorry. I mean, he's got a vision. Of what life should be, you know? He tries to push things until everything falls into place. He's an organizer. What is organized? Nothing. But then again, there's nothing to organize around here either. He really wants this church thing to work. Must have taken it as a sign when he found it abandoned like that. Hmm. Said it was an augury. I don't know where he got that from. Andre's not super intelligent. I've never seen him so psyched about anything though. And he's often psyched. Looks sort of desperate, like it's his last chance or something. Or maybe he was just high. Hmm. I mean, not that he does drugs, just high, you know. On life? Ah, uh, yes. Anyway. Could it be that he's balding? Uh, him taking it last chance? Come to think of it, yes. Hmm. She laughs. He's in some kind of a self-destruction mode with that hair of his. Bleaching it like that. Probably wants to get rid of it altogether. Is Andrew your boyfriend? Yes. Tell me about the others. Who do you want to know about? Tell me about Noy. He's a four-burger, I guess. Like the rest of us. Okay. Maybe not Egg. I don't know about him, but... Noid and the rest are from Fulberg, making the pilgrimage up north to visit the Palaceum. He's okay. real hardcore about the lifestyle. What does he do? What do you mean do? Like for a living? Yes. No, I mean for breakfast. Of course for a living. He's a carpenter. <laughs> trained and all. He's very good, he just doesn't have the mindset to work like that. In a shop somewhere. Okay, so what kind of mindset is that? He abides by the hardcore, sir. You would have to ask him yourself. And you? Sir, I abide by the law. Hmm. What is Bill McGrath you're telling, talking about? It's just something poor Fulberg kids do every spring. To pass the time, we walk the entire length of Boogie Street up to Jamrock. Or as much as possible. 
Why wouldn't it be? I don't know, man. Have you been down Boogie Street? It's a little bewildering. Let's say I haven't been down in Boogie Street. Oh, I'm sorry. I have not. I have not told you. I'm right. A raging alcoholic who recently drank himself into an oblivion so deep he can't even remember what sounds like a biggest street in the city. <laughs> Let me try this. Yeah. Uh, no? Because I'm not. Now tell me something else about Noi. Well, I am. Okay. Then you should go and take a look, I guess. Boogie Street is cool. It's got a lot of immigrants and all kinds of different people. Hmm. I might just do that if I make it. They're alive. Yeah. She says it, then opens her mouth like she's about to add something but doesn't. Actually, tell me about what the hearse. What's the deal with Egghead? What do you mean? What does he think he's doing when he yells at that stuff? Oh, that. He's the party boy. He told me as much, but exactly he's a party boy. Melodic music doesn't really do vocals in the traditional sense. Okay. Vocals are thought of as rock. That's to say they're a bit backward. Mm. No offense if you like rock music though. Rock music's cool by me. Okay. Choo -choo -choo. Swish. Your credentials as the Swish. future man of Revishaw are being questioned. Show her your hip with the times, Gramps. God damn right. Rock music's the coolest. Rock music forever. No offense, they can go home. You don't have to tell me rock is backward. I am the future man. I am born and done rock in the 30s. Stupid rock spit. No offense taken, go home. Anyway, even if you don't have vocals, you still need someone to say something every now and then, right? Okay. To urge things on. That's where the party boy comes in. Alright, if you say so. He basically just stands on the stage and dances and yells how awesome everything is. It's very catchy. I don't know. I understand. <laughs> People are usually afraid to do things if others aren't already doing them. Yeah. Dancing makes you dance, like sneezing makes you sneeze, or hmm. yawning makes you... Yeah. Uh, anyway. He looks around, a little embarrassed of the enthusiasm of this in interjection. So, where is he from? How long has he been with you guys? Actually, we don't know where he's from, or who he is really. Okay. One time we were out partying somewhere in the backwater of Forburg. Or maybe even Coal City, I can't remember. Maybe it was Coal City. Mm. The worst of the Adlers. A wretched mm. heap of closed down mines, even west of Jamrock, on the dusty slope of Montmartre, the remotest possible area of Revisha. No one even wants to exploit those people anymore. Mm. You want to see a cool movie? This thing, remember me. Banlieue, like this. Banlieue 13. Tradici. Banlieue 13. Cool movie. There's even the sequel, Banlieue Ultimate. I don't like that too much. But 13 is pretty good. Pretty solid. Pretty good movie. Banlieue 13. If you didn't know that or didn't have seen that, go get that movie a chance. Not bad to pass sometimes. Egg was yelling along to some jam someone was spinning all night long. Just kept yelling until he didn't have a shred of voice left. When the sun came up over the mines, there were mines? Yeah, it was in Coal City. Okay. Egg came with us. He made this wheezing puppy dog sound all the way back. Couldn't even speak. Right. It was definitely Coal City, because it took us two days to walk back to the fort. He just wheezed the whole way. We never really asked why he came with us, or who he was. I think his name is Jermaine. Okay. People are sweet. Tell me about the others. Who do you want to know about? Actually, do tell me about yourself, yeah? Me? Again? Yes, I forgot. I forgot. Tell me about yourself. I told you, I'm a silver bird. All right. There's that phrase again. Really reminds you of something. What does that mean? It means I don't answer questions about myself. But I'm a police officer. You had to answer me. Is there a law that would stop me from lying, though? That would depend on the circumstances. The lieutenant taps his foot. Fair enough. Thank you. So, uh, thank you. Some other questions. Sure. Well, there's another thing. Reaction speed 3 and I have low. By the way, this is a white check at least. But it's 8%. I'm gonna fail this. I will not do this. And what's that, by the way? Catch the silver bird. Okay, to let her talk about him herself. 
and this empathy yeah this is white check and this too but we're gonna try not now I guess let me see by the way reaction speed I have only three that's not much but if I go like there's something they give me reaction speed or remove that no and here plus one reaction speed give me that then I hope there's something else that help can help me. Sour fire perception. Uh, I want reaction speed. Well, no, only the head. Let me see now. How the, does that change? Mm, no, no, we are not good. So, all right, nothing. Nothing for now. Maybe for later. Give me my head. I lose my fucking head for nothing there. Oh yeah, let's talk to him now. Let's see. Yeah, it's all set up, man. Can you already imagine a thousand people in here? Ten thousand. Okay, for now there's no one. He waves his hands in an unbelievably lame, not hard to cover manner. Ecstatic vibrations, totally transcendent. And I've finished setting up the new compressor too. Okay, he looks at imposing black box in the corner that's current churning out the sound. Now the only thing left to do is the name of the club. Will you do the honors, detective? Hmm. What do you propose as the name, Andre? Let me... Kim! How will you name the club? I wouldn't. I wouldn't build a club and I wouldn't name it either. An or... underground place with no name? Sounds like something the crab man would say. Okay. We're not going with anything the crab man would say. <laughs> she don't like Why the crab not? man. The crab man has ideas, herself. Ideas from another level of consciousness. <laughs> I don't care. I don't like the crab man, okay. and I don't like his ideas. So what do you his propose? His ideas are spooky. Next, please. What do you propose as, as the name, Andre? The name? Everything I managed to come up with sounds just wrong. Okay, so... No name. Andre's overthinking it. Yes, okay. you should do it, detective. It would be good for the signs. Okay, the speed freak with yellow beds around his neck looking at you. Lloyd's right. You've helped us so much. It's the right thing to do. Asela, what would you suggest as the name? How about something simple? Like the club? Too modern and too mm. ironic. We don't want ironic. We By want the real, way. real and true and beautiful, like a morning after the rain. The club, the club is, uh, yeah, it's more like a radio program or something. Not bad. Haggard. Yakukata, Yakukata, the place to be. Ah, huh, Yakukata. Yeah, maybe. Yeko Qatar, the zone of ecological catastrophe. That's too morbid, eh? Got anything else? Hardcore! Hardcore to the nega! Even hardcore is not bad. No, it has to be bigger than hardcore. Yes, it has to be even bigger than hardcore to the mega. It has to be bigger than the sea. So, no, I'd give you, give me your two cents on each. Amnesia. Amnesia. Mm. Like the. I can't remember the name of the club, Amnesia. Amnesia! It's not Amnesia, guys. So, Suna, do you have a, an opinion on this? I don't. Good. All right. We have too many opinions anyway. So, I think I've come up with a name. You have? Well, what's the name? Revasha West. No truce with the Furies. Disco Elysium. What do you think I will choose, game? Disco Elysium for sure! Like that DeLorean word for the world, you mean? Elysium. But Disco Elysium? Isn't it wacky? Disco's kinda gone, isn't it? Forgotten. The past is the future, but the future is dead! Okay, I got it. Now it's beautiful, beautiful and brave. 
like we want it to be. So? And short. And memorable. It's settled then. Everyone All right, 70 experience. Oh my god. So everyone will come to this collision. A light beam washes over the dance floor with light blue. Andre Finally. breaks into frenzied dance like motion to <laughs> celebrate the name. He's dancing. Someone turns up the beat. Observe his movement. What are you doing, Andre? I'm dancing. You can see that. He performs yet another strange pattern of moves, but it doesn't look very cool or modern. Honestly, it looked kind of a lame. That soft core gyrating is supposed to be dancing. We should talk about it. We should talk about your so-called dancing. Yes, my man. He jumps up and down with glee. His moves punctuated by the strobobic flash of the club lights. Talk. What is there to talk about if you can express yourself with moves? Yeah. Audio waves thump against your ribcage. The speaker Whoa, set up this makes is an everything impossible sound thing. much better. But there's a noticeable lack of something. Mm, composure. Mm. I've been make, mean to ask you, what's within the hair? It's to express my individuality. Okay. Is that a bald spot? It's hard to tell for sure with the fused together spikes. But it looks like he's bald. Or it is because you're balding? Or because I'm balding, yes. I want to fuse the remains of my hair together before it leaves me. Okay. I want to show my hair. I don't give a fuck how old you think I am. I'm 20. How old are you, Andre? Not 20. <laughs> I'm 20, not 20. Come on. Is it important for you to be an individual? Of course it is. Otherwise, I'd just be another poor guy with no education and no money. General issue, man. Now I'm all that, and I have radical spikes. Fair enough. What's I don't want? That's idiotic, yes, by the is, way. Yes, it is, man. Absolutely. So he knows. I have plus one dance fever and coming. Okay, so composure. And this what what does one? Does one composure too? Let me see. No, reaction speed, actually, that's another thing. Well, yeah, that's not for now, I guess, right? But let me see, can I get up with composure, maybe with some equipment? Minus one composure, let's remove this. Then... Composure somewhere. It's our fair. Perception. Perception. Minus one, by the way. Plus one composure. Perfect. Right? Well. Perfect. It's something. Let me see now. Maybe something changed. Oh, hey, man. It's good to see you. Oh. This is still... By the way, it's a white check, so... Yeah, let's try this. You close Fuck! Your eyes and but I, the I know that already. To bring this strange music into life. For now, but such now, ferocity... Such ferocity of motion is beyond you. But okay. just imagine the moves you could pull to this futuristic beat. Limbic system? Puts a grin on your face oh, just heal morale. Even a failed attempt gets the juices flowing. Nice. To clear some of the damage done by battles lost. If you up the dose and truly dance, who knows what will happen? Now this is locked, but yeah, maybe that's Good it for now. Officer. Perfect. I healed my morale. Now finally I understand, by the way, how it works. No, remove this, right? Yeah, and give me that. Absolutely. So now what? Now I have this guy to talk with. You got us in, cop. I can't believe you got us in. Yeah. He looks around the hall, examining the carpentry. Between you and me, Ooh. I don't know if you've noticed this about me. I'm a little suspicious of authority. But you, you really came through for the hardcore underground. All yes, right. you really came through for the hardcore <laughs> underground. He spread, he spread his arms, looking 
I just break for setting up shop. How come? Andre is busy cutting some slightly less lame, but still quite ungainly shapes on the church floor, sweating profusely. A cell using her contact mic to listen to a tree underwater. The one with the large head is blasting the dance track on repeat, while the stained glass window behind him is rattling from the base. Sire, the tent, was a security risk, and in here, sanctuary. It was only noble of you. This kid's got spunk, I admire that. Better here than in the, that tent. It wasn't safe. I'm joining really into the hardcore lifestyle, you won't understand. I'm a corrupt cow king, that's a corrupt scheme. The idea is for mankind, for all mankind. Better here than in that tent. It wasn't safe. Okay. No, it, what, what do you think about the church? It's a miracle of carpentry. Dead bodies carved into total shapes. Now it could be something more. Hmm. You say that a carpenter yourself? I don't say much anything as a carpenter anymore. They tried to make me into a reckoner and a leveler. Made me a bit manic, you know. Hmm. I regret the time I dedicated to that profession. And that work I collected. I say things more as a member of the hardcore side dance community these days. So you're not going to ask me how I knew? Why? You're a cop. I carry carpentry tools. How old do you think this church is? Over 300 years? That's right. The first settlers built it, plus six more like it, on the coast here, was one of the first things they did. Must have been really scared of something. I understand. Okay. Alone on an uninhabited archipelago, forced to face themselves and nature. Pre-industrial quantities of solitude. You see, perhaps something more fundamental. Okay. I would want to build a safe place for myself and my own as well. His voice echoes in the wooden ca cavern of the church. So, what is this church built in? A cop who's in the building critique. Okay then, this is folk DeLoreanism, lawmonger up. It's a subset of early DeLorean architecture. So, okay, and what is, is DeLorean architecture like? A total. Everything between an ancient concrete cathedral and a glass cube is DeLoreanism. Okay. This is just an homespun version of it. Folksy stuff. Early mass production. They made thousands like this. Does that help you out? What would a DeLorean building look like? Like that woman there. Vertical, thin, white. A false image of grandeur. The source of the system is up there. You're at the bottom. They really dug that power vertical. Okay. They like to show off large and intricate structures. Arches, spires, put you down with them. They were really into painting everything white too. Virginal shit, you know. Hmm. Marriage shit, virtue and tyranny. Marriage shit, yeah. Hey, marriage is great. Marriage is sacred. This church is painted white, as far as I can tell. Hmm. Yeah. Stands to reason it used to be white on the outside before the sea wind took all the paint off. Oh. Year after year, flake after flake, whitewashed clean, then covered in green moss. Whoa. So, what did you mean by dead bodies? Dead bodies are perennial plants. Sigma functions are left this place. It's okay. a good thing we came along. The spiritual collapse has been total. Spiritual collapse? I saw oh, some no. piglets suckling their dead mother. Have you heard this one, cop man? After a short while, they shuddered and went away. That's the dead guy, the crab man. They had sense that she could no longer see him and that she wasn't like him anymore. What they loved in their mother weren't her body, but whatever it was that made her body live. Okay. In the quote, this is an high quality carcass. The power of a nodic beat and hard base is needed to reanimate it. So, first, where is that quote from? A oh no. Fuck! Put the wrong bottom. 
built and maintained by hundreds of generations of self-appointed intellectuals. It's false core. Okay. The way he says it, the force in false core is invested with 20 kilotons of disgust. Well, you guys say the Ecclesiastes were all about love and hardcore before, remember? I only said unity. One word. Figures of authority always misquote you. Hmm. Andre doesn't care about the Ecclesiastes. He just wants the operation to run smoothly. And Egg is a demi-beast. You shouldn't listen to what people say. You should listen to what they are. So, then I did right not to agree with all the talk about the Ecclesiastes being okay with this then. The founding party don't give two shits about this place. Look around. They do not have enough love for the human crew to oppose anything anymore. We're on our own. So, and you propose dance music will supplant the system? Anodic dance music. Hmm. Regular dance Another. music wasn't hard enough. And yes, I do. You know what this kind of stuff goes well with. Don't you have to be on drugs for that though? Only a little. Not cool, All yeah. All large human gatherings are narcotic. Ask any such undertaking in history. This included. Chemistry is true to its word. Okay. <clears throat> There is a difference between narcotics and group elation. One kills you, the other does not. Okay. The supercharged humanism that the innocentic system has been feeding hmm. us on giant city squares, hmm. that's not a drug. The sugar and wheat it feeds us is healthy. Forget it. It will <laughs> become an imbecilic discussion. You two continue. It's more hardcore that way. Come on, Kim. So how do you like the glass work? Point to the stained glass window. I don't. Fuck are giving me the evil eye. That's her innocence, Dolores Day. Mind your words. You defend her, Lord Minion. She was a mass murderer. What's up with that? What? Mellow man, mellow. No one's a mass murderer. This is a house of love. Mass murder on the floor. Oh, hell yeah. But she's the innocence of humanism. Humanism seems to be pretty big deal around here, but she's pretty. Yeah, but like, who is accused of being a mass murderer these days? No one says Arno Van Eyck is a mass murderer. The anodic pioneer Rietveld is not a mass murderer. He is not accused of mass murder. Likewise, okay. no one says Jermaine Egged or Andre are mass murderers. You can live entirely outside that suspicion. Billions of people go about not being guilty of mass murder. So... Just not her. But she's the innocence of humanism. Humanism seems to be a pretty big deal around here. Humanism leads to eating sugar and pigs. Humanism was invented to mass produce billions of humans. Okay. Billions of humans can mass produce hundreds of billions of pigs. So? And many, many more tons of sugar. Yeah. She liked games. Her legacy, the thing we live in, isn't real life. It's a strategy for some kind of victory against a long dead opponent. But, yo, I'm only annoyed. What do I know? Hmm, yeah, well, how do I know? But she's pretty. She invented the beauty you're feeling. Seeing her glass cutters and iconographers you set the standard all right then you meet so? it it's effective like that but it is also very soft of core hmm. that so-called beauty of hers you're right yeah like it harder core <laughs> what hey don't do this okay then it seems i like it soft because uh it's anything but soft core it's terrifying i don't know you're right, I like it hardcore. In the true life of tomorrow, every woman will be an innocent. They will wear neon headbands and leggings, and they will glow in the dark. Okay. Oh my living God, it's there. Suddenly you feel like you need to plummet into it. Look away, say something. Something? So, I do feel there's something terrifying about her. She is a party repellent, a 
and must be taken down before we can begin partying in here. No, that's not it. It's something more. Something closer to your something skin. Something closer to your skin. Take it down. Crash it. Destroy the window. Keep it. Keep it. Keep the beautiful sharp shots. Keep her long face and her hair. The speed freak's eyes narrow with suspicion, as if he's looking at a man possessed. Oh no. It's not coming down. People are gonna love it. It'll be like our thing. Plus it keeps the cold and the rain out. Yeah, that's true. So, isn't she supposed to be the, an embodiment of the world spirit? The world spirit does not have a body. It has organs. Hardcore is an organ of the world spirit. What is that? Come on. This Arno Van Eyck track is an organ. The carpentry and glass cutting that built this ass are also organs. <laughs> She's a thief if you ask me. An so? organ thief. All innocences are. So? Would you say she was, you know, human? I like this question, cop man. She did not live the life of a human. She lived like someone who's playing a game. The life of an operator. Hmm. That's not the life that humans live. She was adored. Humans aren't. I don't know about you, but they hate me. And they do not think I'm innocent or some shit like that. Mm, she was a player. She played the, us all. It's just a game to her. Yeah, they hate this too. Well, they loved her. They put all their love in her and forgot all about the rest of us. So? But she's... So, yeah, I'm done talking about her. I don't want to think about her oh, anymore. What a strange choice of words. Hmm. <laughs> that can't be helpful. Fuck. What's happening here? Why do you keep coming back to this window? Godly. Whoa, failure. <laughs> Nothing. Everything's okay. But it isn't. And you shouldn't come back to this anymore. This should be the last time. Stop talking about that damn window, please. Hmm, <laughs> I'm trying, so I will try. So let's talk about the glass work again. I've been thinking about her now. How are you setting in? Hard to say, cop man. Signs in here are distinctly wild. Gonna take a while before everything's properly synced. I okay. did get to talk to the crab man, though. You mean Tiago? Anyway, he's been giving me kind of a psychic rundown of this place. Okay. Dude's seen some crazy shit, but he's actually a lot like us. You mean all this Martyr's Law stuff isn't too spooky for you? Have you been listening to what X been saying? No. Love is hardcore, man. Yeah. And the mother's love is the hardest core of all. Okay. The man picks up on stuff. And he knows a lot about the church. I've got a lot to learn from him. Okay. So? Good thing you didn't squash him. I think you didn't squash Okay, I wanted to talk some more about this place. What did Diago tell you about the church? Let me try Dead this. Dead body, spirit entered. What is there to talk of? Oh, maybe I can oh, say. say. Let me I try again. To, anyway, dude, seen some crazy shit. Have you been the man? Good thing you didn't. What did Tiago tell you about the church? The crab man's been lurking here for a while. He's experienced things, things that give off bad signs. Okay. As far as we can tell. The Ubies built this place about 320 years ago as a sarcophagus. So, do you mean there are dead bodies here? Not like a literal sarcophagus. Okay. I'm just being metaphorical. Metaphorical. Hmm. What is what is it for? Encasement, confinement of something they were afraid of. Something new and unheard of on the Isola. Hmm. I think that's what the crab man is experiencing when he climbs around upstairs. Okay. Like, this is some old world shit you bees had heard about. I thought the best way to deal with it was to build a church surrounding it to contain it. So, I don't get it. Contain what exactly? I don't know. And it's not something they properly understood either. 
what it does, but it's what this sonar person is looking for and trying to measure. He not still with the woman. It will be fruitless though. She won't be able to measure it. People like that always want to measure everything. All those things they really can't. What makes you think Suna's going to fail? Seems to be the trend around here, doesn't it? <laughs> you can't measure shit like this. It's not like substance. I find a I found a Dubco measure area in Martinez proper. Maybe it's the same thing that Ubis were trying to contain. Hmm. Like a concentric ring spreading out, the struggling villages. Okay. And that is what caused the communards to fail in defending the beachhead. Yeah, a lot of failure has gone down around here. You think there's any merit to the theory? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It's hmm. not even a thing we can answer, cop man. Even I have limits. I'm a limited oh. sire person. He has limits. How do I know? That the drug destroyed his uh, fucking brain. How do I know? So well, if it if it's without substance, I guess there's nothing to worry about. Maybe you can figure things out, cop man. I think we got on a good level here. The signs are syncing up well. Why are you so, so suspicious about everything? Suspicious people are esoteric people. We don't go around spilling everything to Johnny Law. They don't call me Noid for nothing. Okay, Johnny Law. It took us setting out for this whole enterprise to get our science synced. So, why are you called Noid anyway? Shoot for paranoid. Oh. Man, I ask why. What good is being suspicious? A reasonable question. Say I get hurt. I want to make sure it never happens again. So I analyze the situation. Exercise caution. Caution is suspicion. Extreme caution. So, why are you suspicious of? Uh, it'd be easier to list stuff I'm not suspicious of. I'm not suspicious of sand and colour. Mechanics and chemistry also have a trueness about them. Most anything else deceives. Wants to steal your life away. And what are the most suspicious things? I don't have a top ten list of things I'm most suspicious of. But if okay. I had one, the left-right complex would be number one. All right. Number two would be their sole accomplishment, the pig wheat paradigm. Okay. Something is off here. You feel like it should be the other way around. Does this mean you're mentally ill? Don't you mean left, right, parting, I mean the pig wheat complex? No. Politics is an inert complex of daily corruption and inane think pieces. The real paradigm is economic and it concerns pig and wheat. This okay. is where the innovation happens. It's only a theory. I suspect they're breeding a pig wheat hybrid. Probably in Grad. Hmm. Does this mean you are mentally ill? Mental illness is a term that powers you to homogenize people. I think I don't reach mental illness. I am merely politically ill. A suspicious element. So, tell me more about the left right business. I prefer not to. Hmm. Both ask the wrong questions. Any spark of light from either one is accidental. Their combined movement's only concern is producing enough pig and wheat for everyone. Okay. The end goal of humanity. All right. The original mistake was assuming that words have more being than bodies. That's what led us astray. Far from our true lives, but we may yet find a way back. Okay. Whatever this true life is. <laughs> You feel it's the real centerpiece of this mythology. So what's suspicious about the production of pork and wet? It's only our shit. We should make better use of not being animals or cereal grain ourselves. What's bad about cereal grain? Having enough food could be a precursor of greater things. Yes, having food is means to an end. But the left never talks about the end, only the means. Caps are likewise suckers, constantly sleepless in worry. Okay, so, well, that was certainly stimulating. I want to ask about something else now. His eyes flicker. You mentioned about true life. What would that be like? The life is true if it's free from fear, an internal division among oneself. In others, mankind has seeds of greatness in it. A germinal will come, a return to trueness, 
it will be hardcore. So how will you go about returning to this true life? Beat some bright lights to shatter falsehoods. Nerve impulses for the collective body. We are very much alike in basic structure. An hard enough beat would awaken everyone to a truer calling. In, in unity. unity. Yeah. Just like that. The speed freak is right in your face. His eyes burning. His comrades look on worriedly. Rejection of the right-left axis. Emphasis on unity. Appreciation of some primordial mode of being. What does that remind you of? Sort of like fascism, man? Nationalism, militarism, racism, an emphasis on a leader character are totally absent in hardcore. Okay. The word echoed through the church majestically. Fair enough, just making an observation. I didn't mean it as a bad thing. But should the ones that more hardcore rule over the ones that are less hardcore officer them guidance? If some want to lead and others want to be led, I think they are welcome to it. So you're advocating a noise-based society? You keep mentioning hardcore. What does it mean to you? Utmost dedication. Thoughts from the spinal cord. It's a potent superlative as well. Okay. The term also signifies certain varieties of pornography that depict penetration. Just so you know. <laughs> Egghead usually has a better concept of the hardcore. Okay. He just really likes saying hardcore. Better concept. Hardcore! Huh? His friend shouts from behind the mixed table with a smile surpassing your own in witness. A total moon face and eyes full of naive wonderment. The term hardcore also denotes a strain of pornography that depicts penetration. Do you know that? That's a pretty hardcore coincidence, don't you think? <laughs> yeah! So you're advocating a noise-based society? Many non-occidental cultures share a beat at their art. Thus, they are closer to true hardcore life. There's just never been enough of them. And they had to rely on some extremely basic percussion. Let's change the subject oh, yeah. here. Sure thing. Ooh, that's godly. Oh my god, this is... Well, I can try, maybe one, but not now. What's with the clothes? They're hardcore. There are. You look like a woman with those carings. Mm. You know, what's you know what's the problem? Here, in the picture, in the, the, in the drawings, but the model of itself, hell no. He's right. They are core. You look like one with those earrings. You know what I think? I think man, woman, and child are arbitrary divisions which serve to bind humanity okay. to serve them. That's it. They're just clothes. Hard day. They look outlandish. It's just a style, you know, normal hard style. Anyone can wear it. Okay, if you say so. So take care, I guess. I can do nothing here, not now. So now what? Let's talk to her first. Then we're yes. gonna see. What is it? Now we good. Then we're gonna see if something's changed with Egghead. But I don't know. How's the project going? I see that your neighbors have moved in, but all I hear is an Arctic dance music. What? What did you say? You can barely hear her over the thumping bass of an audio dance music. I said, how's the project going? I can't hear you. The music is too loud. The project. How is it going? Oh, the project. Yes. It's going well. Why? There's that guy. I need him to plug a 3.5 cable into the auxiliary input so that I can put the audio signal through the mixer into the speakers. Sorry, can you repeat that? Why don't you just ask he him? Listen to me. He only ever seems to care about hardcore and Yekogata. A place to be apparently. <laughs> Yekogata, yeah. I'll speak to him, see what I can do. Bad. What I can do, Twig. Maybe to you can get through his magic rhymes. She does jazz hands to mock him. Let me know how it goes. 
Well, I don't know. So how soon are we with our project? Soon we cover it with the Raver's nightclub plan. If you help her out with the search project first, find a file in memory with an offset copy from her whole workspace, bring it back to her, then wait for further instructions. If you run into a pro any problems, you can always ask for Suna help. Alright. I, I, I like Suna. Look at what she gave me. So bad guy weapon. Yeah. So let's go. Let's talk to him. Big clouds. What? We're close, says the young man standing behind the mixer deck, bumping his fist in the air. Long shaped trees grow on his silver belt buckle. True, hard, full of car. Say nothing. Car. Say. Yes. This young man adds a capital G before the H. Okay. Or maybe it's not got volume. So this maybe is the famous Van Eyck I'm hearing. You know about him? You know Van Eyck? Your friend Hasselia mentioned him. Good, good. The advent? What the fuck? The clouds. True. So, say nothing, say nothing, say nothing, say nothing, say nothing. He follows it. Hardcore! So, our core? One night. Okay, so. The clouds. What am I supposed to do here? Hardcore! Hardcore to the mega internally coherent. Good morning, yeah. One, two, three. It's the mess. The club true hard hardcore hardcore to the here comes the This is the like I'm true hard hard hardcore to the neck internal all car gotta get the people going I'm the party boy it's my job hardcore party 25 seconds There is a place The club true hard hard hardcore internally all car gotta get the people I'm the party boy it's my job Two on a track Hmm. The club, true, hard, hardcore, hardcore is internally coherent. Good morning. Oh, yeah. I made a mistake. Yeah. Fuck. You got an intricate system for irrigation. Yeah, yeah. It's not what I want. That's for sure. See? The club, what does true, say? Hard, 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 hard internally Something coherent. happened. He saved. All cop gotta get the people. I'm the party boy. It's my hardcore. Pa there is a place far. Oh, okay, I don't know. So, let me see. Something change here. Yes. What is it? Well, I don't know what to do. Then let me see. Maybe the 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 weird uh, black man is uh, crab man is here. No. Let's get out. My head is hurting. Okay. Let me go to the new sleepy place. Let's call it a day and then we'll end the episode. Let me. Oh my god, I have my backbone. So. What about. What happened here? Kim doesn't uh, suspect nothing still about the, you know, drug thing, and that's wonderful if you ask me. Let's go now. Let's go, let's run away. I need to check out the other traps. But I don't know where that is, so yeah. Let me go inside my house, right? He's here, yeah. Bye, Kim. It's getting late, and it's raining. Time to call it a day. Good night, Kim. Good night, officer. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. All right. Perfect. Execution. So let's see how it is sleeping inside here. Is it better than whirling in rags? I don't know, but maybe. Let's go here and let's sleep again. It's comforting. If a bit run down, still, you've earned the rest. Absolutely. Let's go to sleep. Fantastic day, Across huh? Across the room, the heating system hums its soft lullaby. The mattress feels soft and sheets warm. It only takes you moments for the world to fall away. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? Thoughts, baby. A million little lights in the dark. Okay. You're one fine instrument, brother. 
All those Brother. faces and all those names. All that laughter and screaming and scheming around. Every corner and every street. So brain. Recorded in you. Forever. On Ferrate. Spinning in eternity. Spinning on empty. Spinning, spinning. Tell me. Am I dreaming? Spinning in eternity. On and on it goes. For untold hours. <laughs> At the disco where you first asked her to dance. Rising. Rising. Okay. Above the dark curvature. The great wingspan of sleep. Studied with stars. Okay. Behold. There are millions of them down there. The first time. The last time. The smoke in her mouth. The plotted flowers. The faces turning, changing. Strange how here says potted flowers and the voice said plotted flowers. I don't know if I need to pay attention to these little details. I don't think so. What is it? It's the world, Harry boy. And you're made of it. Mm. Every day you're out there, you make more of yourself from it. I'm afraid you can't be unmade now. Okay. You can never forget this shit. The colors, the voices, the rain, the snow, I don't want to. It's beautiful. The endless visions, yeah, erase them. The colors, the voices, yeah. All stuck on loop. Whirling. Speaking of words and images. Okay. You're the son of the world again. Okay. Harrister. A ceaseless agent. Picking up litter and old newspapers. Collecting your little bubblegum wrappers and idiotic picture postcards. Meaningless, meaningless keepsakes. Okay. Reading your awful letters and recalling things, aren't you? The endless names of the world. An address book you are. The map of a city. Yeah, I am the agent of the world. You'll go insane if you keep going like this. No. One more day. And you'll be in the loony bin. I just know you will. And for what, brother man? For the money, baby. Hmm. <laughs> for the money, baby. Solving your little crossword puzzles. <laughs> doing your tasks. Crossing yeah. names off lists. Yes. Trying to become some sort of world detector. Yes. It won't make it okay. It won't put smoke back in her mouth. I'm just looking for my economic self-interest. Pursue thought. Forget politics. I'll never sleep if I keep on like this. Let me see this. There he goes again. He's a real political animal out Harry. He still doesn't see that it, it's the world that's changing him. He's got no idea what he's in for. Why? Feel the pillow under your cheek. Beep, beep, beep. The alarm is ringing, Harry. The what? disco circus goes on and on. You barely slept three hours last night. Well, it's something, right? Do it for the picture puzzle. Put it all together. Solve the world. Yeah. One conversation at, at a, a time. time. Absolutely. So, open your eyes. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. It was not bad sleeping here. And free! Not bad and free. And free. What is this? Power hey, fair. Wow. Intrat. The impeccable hustler provider of the seventh generation. It's okay. showtime with Savvy. Oh, so now it's Savvy? What's up, buddy? Are we finally going to solve this lynching? Let me see. What's up? I'm worried about what's down, broke boy. I'm talking about your severe lack of money. Money? 
That's right. It's time to stop muttering about your economic self-interest and actually do something about it. Well, I have some yeah, money now. I heard you back there. What the hell was that? It, it is but a symptom of the rapacious catastrophe that will devour us all. I was asleep, asleep. You said before that playing the market could get me rich. Oh, it can. But first, you need to enter the market. Well, right I now, do. you're as good as Samir Losser eating dirt in Gurdi's immense network. I make a deal, 50%. Oh, Samir yeah. Losser was a Gordi businessman. Encyclopedia, knowledge reigns supreme. Selling kilograms of the ultra-rare mineral Phasium to luxury jeweler Zakael e Company. He made okay. the rest of his many millions through wise investments and the invention of pleochroic lights. All right. Listen, if you really want to make it in the big leagues, you need to reconceptualize your entire portfolio. Hmm. Collecting tear and moaning about taxes is not going to cut it. All you right. need to become a millionaire. Now, how do you become a millionaire? Manana. Uh, flick me a coin. One coin. The first of many. Imagine okay. so many coins, you're going to need to hire someone to help you manage all your wealth. I could sell King's motor car. I like sold. No, I will not say that. I respect Kim, okay? Not with Kim. Really? That's it? That's all I have to say? Why aren't you guys helping me out? Those guys, they're all financially illiterate. Only Savvy here knows how to dazzle and embezzle money out of investors' pockets with the acrobatic prowess of a four-time gold medalist in the Samarin Gymnastics Summer Games. Oh. You could force a coin inside you. Any hole will do. Not many more definitive tests of a man's metal than the fortune yawn. So, all right, I give up. I have no idea how to make millions. Of course you don't. You've never even been close to a sum with more than three zeros. Let's face it, you've been on a years long losing streak. Okay. But Savvy's got your back. So? Savvy's going to book you a charter flight with 80 birds of prey on board. Okay. To a land where the streets are paved with Krugerrands and fixed income securities. All right. You'll try again, but this time with money. You'll win her back. If you say so. Are you in? Wait, I win whom back? The spirit of ultra-liberalism. Your charm, your spin, your winning hand. Something about this doesn't sit right. Stop grumbling. It's time to move. Are you in or are you out? Actually, I'm good on the money front. Suit yourself and your middle-class ways. Savvy doesn't need you. Savvy's got his own entourage. Okay, if you say so. But yeah, can I see myself now like no New Day? No. So, guys, we did it, right? We we're pretty good, right? Let me save, absolutely. And uh, let's go to the main menu. Uh, that was a fantastic episode. It is. It was. It will be. It will. Yeah. Right? Good episode, right? Let me change the camera real quick. That was a... Uh, I can say. Pretty solid episode. We did something. And uh, yeah. A new day. Now we're gonna call back from the motor car. A fucking lady. And we're gonna see. What's about the fucking uh, armor of the guy was wearing? We know something now that's important for investigations. Maybe I hope she had some news about the company and uh, yeah, news about the armor. I want that. So let me stop talking here in my bad English, okay? Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. We we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.